Hi, I'm Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. And the question today is, what affects the sound of a piano in a room? This is a very, very good question. Because to a great extent, the size of the piano that you choose is determined not just by the size of the room, but the acoustics. Have you ever sung in the shower and you know how your voice sounds wonderful in there with all the porcelain and glass and such, the sound echoes and it sounds just wonderful, doesn't it? Well, it's a kind of the same thing in a live room. A room that has, for example, wood floors or slate and has lots of windows, high ceilings, and the sound reverberates, just like when you listen to a choir in a church, the gorgeous reverberation that echoes gives a richness to the sound. The same thing is true of a piano. So if you have a piano in a room that's dead acoustically, particularly carpeting, why is carpeting so effective to the sound, to muting the sound of a piano? Well, half the sound of a piano comes from underneath. So if you have your piano on a rug, it's going to deaden it substantially. Sometimes you'll want to do this on purpose because you might have a room that's too live and the sound is overbearing. And it might just be perfect to put the piano on a rug just to deaden it a bit so that it's not an overbearing amount of volume. Curtains and furniture that's very soft and cushy, these all absorb sound. In fact, just having people in a room has a profound effect upon the acoustics. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a hall to try out a piano before a concert and everything sounds great and then the audience comes in and it's like, oh my gosh, I, I, I feel like I have to play much stronger because all the bodies, people's clothing and such, absorbs the sound of the room. So the bottom line is you want a room that has a moderate amount of reflection, a good amount to enhance the sound but not so much to overwhelm with too much volume. If you can, pay on a solid floor, uh, if at all possible. If it's too much volume, that's an easy way to temper the sound of a room that's too live. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com.